Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Excellent. Excellent. How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? My weekend was very great. Nice. And what did you do? Where did you go? I went to church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice church. And and I remember too. I went to. I went to the. No, I went to cinema with my friends. Oh, nice. What movie did you watch? Um, I don't know. Rápidos y Furiosos. Ah, Fast and Furious. Nice. Did you like yes. it? Yes, I like it. All right. Cool, cool. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Anybody else? How was your weekend? My weekend says played softball. Oh, so cool. Softball. Did you make any home runs? Excuse me? Did you make any home runs? Eh, home runs es cuando alguien llega al, a las tres bases y toca la home base. How do you how do you say home runs in Spanish? No, the eh, Cuando le pegas a la pelota y tocas primera base, segunda base, tercera base y llegas a la última base, ¿cómo uh -huh. se le llama eso? Um. ¿Cómo se dice eso en español? Home run, no. Home. Oh, en inglés se dice home run. Mm -hmm. Home, home run. En inglés, en español también se le dice home run. Sí, así he escuchado. Ah, home run en español. Okay, okay. Nice. Uh, ¿Hiciste algún home run, Gabriela? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. I would like for us to do a little review from the previous class. Uh, in the previous class, we were analyzing this section over here. Can everybody see the platform? Can everybody yeah. see the platform? All right. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward. Is everybody finished? with section number four? In my case, yes. Yes, yes sure. too. Okay, so today we're gonna move forward and I would like for us to continue. And we are going to be looking at section number five. For section number five, the lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will be able form positive and negative statements with the past of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado. Son el verso ser. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. All right, so we're going to be looking at how to use the topic negative and positive statements with the past of B. Eh, ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es el past del B? ¿Cuál es el past del B? And was. Was. And were. And were. Okay, was and were. Uh -huh. 
El was es para primer persona. Por ejemplo, tú decís, I was sad. Yo estaba triste. I was hungry. Yo tenía hambre. I was hungry. Um, I was at church. Yo estaba en la iglesia. I was happy. Eh, yo estaba cansado. I was tired. Y este también se puede usar con el he y el she. Por ejemplo, she was working. Ella estaba trabajando. O he was playing. Él estaba jugando. Eh, digamos, si estamos hablando de una cosa. Eh, it was on. Eh, digamos que vamos a decir una tele. It was on. Estaba encendida. Eh, el were es para el, el, el you. Por ejemplo, you were happy. O you were tired. Oh, you were hungry. Oh, they, they were tired. Uh, they were driving. Eh, también lo podemos usar para el we, we were calling or oh, we were eating right so el was y el were eh, son el pasado del verbo to be any questions at this moment any questions at this moment questions no questions, questions. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to share with you the examples and I'm also going to share with you the examples in the WhatsApp. Uh, over here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the video and look at the grammar. And negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. 
They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the U.S. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the U.S. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the U.S. in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Statements using the past. All of right. Me. What I would like for us to do uh, we'll right here in this activity illustrates how this is topic is we are going to in a real practice life setting. the conversation. Let's get started by li listen and repeat. Where were you born, Melissa? Where I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? Oh, oh. so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Mm. You, you were pretty young. young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, yes, yes I, I was, was only 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Do you go you, you go to, to college, college right, right, away. right away? 
No, my English wasn't very good. No, no. My, my English, English wasn't very good. Very good. So I took English classes for two years first. So, so I go I go to classes for two years. years. Well, your English is really good now. Well, well your English is really, really, good really good now. now. Good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. But yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, but yeah, I was born here. Born here. Okay. All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about the vocabulary in this conversation? Does anybody have any mm. questions about the vocabulary in this section? All right, what we're gonna do mm. is we're gonna take a couple of minutes and we're gonna practice the conversation with a classmate. And then we are going to practice it together as a class. I'm going to share it with everybody in the WhatsApp group. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Yes. Let's yes. go ahead. Yes, teacher. I'm going to allow for you to be able to share your screen. Give me a second. Sharing multiple participants sharing, okay. All right, so I want to see somebody sharing the screen. Ready? Let's go. Practice the conversation. Take turns practicing the conversation. Remember, repetition is going to help you to perfect your pronunciation. Ah, pues, sí, pues. Oh, hola, Claudia. Hola, Daniela. Hola, Claudia. Hola. hola. <coughs> <coughs> Gracias. Ahí está. Daniela. Okay. Okay. Okay, como... ¿Quién empieza? Es, yo puedo ser Chuck, no sé quién. Melissa. Voy yo con Melissa entonces y después lo Ok. A mí me ayudan con la pronunciación. <risa> ok. Mm. Where were you born, born Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? US. No, I came here in. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Mil. One hundred, verdad? Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. That's right. Nineteen ninety nine. Correct. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Correct. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was once very good. So I taught English class for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. To English, it's pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Hey. <laughs> okay. Ahora tenemos otras compañeras. Gaby. Bye. Yo, Cher. ¿Quién es la Melissa? Yo voy a ser Melissa. Okay, Daniela. 
Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. 1999. Mm. Okay. Mm. You were pretty young? Young? Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really, is really good now. No. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but it was born here. Ahí sería, I was born I was, here. I, I was born here. Right. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. No sé si quieren volver a turnar. Uh -huh. Vaya. Estamos en pareja entonces. Voy con Gaby. Gaby, ¿qué quiere hacer usted? <coughs> Melissa, me toca. Melissa, bien, voy bien. Ok. Where, 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 where you born, born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the state USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. <coughs> Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college away? away? No, my English was very good. So I taught English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Then your English is pretty good too. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Jay, but I was born here. Yay. Good job. Ahora me toca con Claudia, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, pues voy a hacer yo choc. Ok. Vaya. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Korea, Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So, I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. <laughs> okay. Lista. All right, all right. Let me have... Two volunteers, two volunteers. Miguel, thank you, Miguel. Tamar, excellent. Uh, Miguel, you are going to be Chuck. Tamar, you are going to be Melissa. Ready? Thank you. Ready. And action. Thank you, teacher. Uh, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well... Your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. 
Yeah, but I was born here. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect pronunciation. Good job, guys. All right, uh, go Thank ahead. Uh, yeah, please uh, switch roles. Uh, Miguel, you are going to be Melissa. And uh, who is the other person reading? Yes. Okay, teacher. And Tamar is going to be Melissa. Come on. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Do you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mar uh, Miguel. Go ahead, Miguel, select another participant. And I would like for Tamar to select another participant, please. Okay, teacher, I select Claudia, Claudia Margarita. Eh, Claudia Margarita notificó en el chat que va a estar solamente de, de oyente. Then Claudia. Hola, no, eh, yo sí, sí puedo. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues usted va a ser eh, Chuck. Ok. Uh, mm -hmm. Me, I select uh, Daniela Mercedes. All right. Daniela Mercedes, you are going to be Melissa y después cambiamos el rol. Irse versa. Okay. okay. Ready, go. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to the to college right right away no my english wasn't very good so i took english classes for two years first well your english is really good now thanks your english is pretty good too yeah but i was born here excellent good pronunciation no observations uh, please change roles. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent pronunciation. Good job. All right, uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to this vocabulary? Questions about the grammar, questions about the pronunciation, anything like that?
Okay. Now, what we are going to do is you are going to write a, a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. It can be at the barbershop, at the beauty salon, at the gym, at work, in an English class, and you are just talking with somebody, talking about yourself. I want you to use in the conversation were, and I want you to use in the conversation was, were and was. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, sorry, teacher. Tenía problemas con el internet. Okay. Thank you, Jose. All right. So we're gonna. ¿A dónde van a escribir la conversación? In the discussion box. In the discussion box. Vamos a cambiar de grupos. Ready? Let's go. All right. y que tiene que ir implícito el was y el where. Ok. Tenemos que incluirlo en la conversación. Vaya. Pero, ¿cuál sería? Sí. Sí. Dijo que podía estar en Vaya, este, elijamos dos nombres. Perdón. No hay problema, este, podría ser Melisa, el otro Mario, digo yo. Ajá, sí, estaría bien. El contexto siempre sería un salón. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, o... uh -huh. creo que sí, no hay problema. Ok. Este, ¿qué nombres dijeron? Mm, Melissa y Mario. Melissa y Mario. Melisa y Mario, vaya. Entonces comienza Melisa. ¿Qué le va a preguntar Melisa? Eh, le puede preguntar. Este teacher tiene que ser muy larga la conversación. Siempre y cuando se no pueda ser igual. Bien, ella. Ok, podemos preguntarle qué, qué hizo el fin de semana. Ah. Sí, sí, eso. Sí, 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 sí. What did you do? We can. Eh, ¿Cómo se llamaba el, el, el otro, otra persona? Mario. 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 Mario le va a decir um, díganme algo que ustedes hayan hecho 
trabajar. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, no, no, fin de semana se refiere, lo sé. Este, podría decir al cine. I was. No. no. I. I was. Espera, le vamos a cambiar algo. No le vamos a preguntar qué he hecho, sino que cómo la pasó. Ah, ok. How, how was your, your weekend, Mario? Y le va a decir, it was, it was great. What was your... Weekend Mario. Melissa le va a decir este um, que salió a caminar al campo, montaña. Porque la pregunta que hizo el fin de semana, ¿verdad? O salió con mis amigos, podría ser. Tendría que ser. Siempre utilizando el, el was, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, cierto, el was y el where, dijo también. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso diría, Melissa, I was. Um, I was running in, in the park, estaría bien. Uh oh, what happened to what happened to her? She left. Este, creo que no sacó. Daniela. Daniela, ah, se me fue la que... luz, teacher. Una disculpa, ah, grupo, dice. Daniela. En el okay. WhatsApp. Ah, ok, ok. Ahí está, bella la vida, Daniela, ok. Sí. Ya va a regresar. Okay. No. no, 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 no tiene que ser tan larga, así, tranquila, así, where were you grow up, uh, ahí sería where were you grow up or where did you grow up, a donde te creciste, ajá, ahí uh -huh. sería, ahí sería, eh, sería where did you grow up, Y ahí la respuesta, I grew up in San Salvador, but I was born in Santa Ana. Really? How is Santa Ana? It's really beautiful. It has many very beautiful landscapes. Excellent. No, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Y la respuesta, I grew up in San Salvador. Okay. Thank you. All right, all right, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. Let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Two volunteers, two volunteers.
Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers, two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers, two volunteers. All right, Carlos David, one volunteer. Good job, Carlos David, one volunteer. Hey, qué cool, Tamar, está lloviendo fuerte allí, qué chivo. Carlos, ¿quién es su compañero, Carlos? Y fue Daniela, pero tuvo problemas técnicos. Y, Daniela, y, Mercedes. Y Dalila. Y Dalila. Ok, Dalila y Daniela, action. Si quieren compartir su pantalla, lo puede hacer. Action. Ok, este, la conversación es de Melissa y Mario, pero fue un, es un poco corta. That's ok, that's ok. Acuérdese, un poco corta es ok. Don't worry. Poquito a poquito, usted va a ir aumentando su vocabulario y su práctica okay. y será más fácil. Uh, I am ready. Como uh, dice la canción, despacito, despacito. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Entonces, uh, Dalila, tú eres Melissa y yo Mario. All right. Okay. Carlos and Dalila What? action. Carlos and Dalila. Action. How was your weekend, Mario? It was, it was great. Uh, yours? I was working with family in the park. Finish. I, vamos Finish. A <laughs> okay. Eh, solo una observación. Todo estaba bien. Solo cuando te dijo, dijo, I was. Uh -huh. Weekend. I was weekend. Vamos a decir was así, ve. Eh, vamos a decir, I was at the park. I was at the park with my family on the weekend. Así sería. I was at the park. Yo estuve en el parque with my family, con mi familia, on the weekend, el fin de semana. El was lo podemos decir para lugares. Usted puede decir, eh, yo estaba en la iglesia. I was at church. O puede decir, yo estaba en el super. I was at the groceries. Store. Store. So el was lo podemos decir para decir yo estaba o yo estuve en un lugar. Y si quiere decir yo fui al parque con mi familia, puede decir I. ¿Quién me puede ayudar? I. I, 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 yo fui ¿Sí? al parque. ¿Ah? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? I was. I was. No. I went. Yo fui. Ok, Daniela. I went. Así sería. I went to the park. Yo fui the park with... al parque. Okay. I went to the park with my family on the weekend, on the weekend, okay? All right, good job, guys. Uh, thank you for your participation, uh, Carlos and Dalila. Uh, everything else was good. Uh, another volunteer, another volunteer. Another volunteer. 
Acuérdese, guys, para que le pueda dar la entramitación, tengo que ver. Ok, Gabriela en Alba. Ah, ok. Eh, Gabriela en mm. Alba. ¿Trabajaron juntas? Sí. No, yo trabajé con Sabrina. Ok, ah, pues vamos con Gabriela y Sabrina. Y después Alba, ¿con quién trabajó usted? Con Telma, con José y con Miguel. Ok, y después vamos con su grupo. Primero vamos con el grupo de Gabriela, después vamos con el grupo de Alba. Go ahead, okay. Gabriela. Action. Ok. What were you born, born Sabrina? I was born in Chalatanang. Oh, so you were were born in Houston, Texas? No, I came here in here in in 2000. Mm, you were pretty young. Eh, yes. No se le entendió, no se I le was... entendió allí, Gabriela. Okay. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 15. Do you go to college right away? Yes, I was oh, pretty young. Study, okay. I was study in course. Mm, what? Where you starting school? No te has ayudado llegamos. Okay, okay. Eh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Eh, solo una observación. Cuando dijo, you were pretty young. Repeat. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. Young, young. 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 Con U. Young. 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 Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Uh, good job, girls. Let me have Alba in your team. Okay. Con quién? <laughs> ¿Quién, eh, ¿Quién estaba en su grupo? Eh, José, Miguel y Telma. Okay, Jose Miguel y Telma, action. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you born? In Alba. Ah, oh, Miguel iba, no, Miguel iba a ser, ¿verdad? Miguel, no sé. Uh, no, José Luis, mejor sé porque tiene el texto. Yo ahorita estoy... <laughs> hey, no todos participen a la misma vez. One at a time, please. One at a time, please. Okay. okay. We are a great team. I see that. I see that. Everybody's fighting to participate. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that correct. <laughs> okay, démosle. Okay. Uh, where where you from? Uh, Alba? I was born in San Where are you from? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? Where are you from? See, where, where, where you born? Ah, where were you born? Okay, uh -huh. you see. Where were you born, assistant. Alba? Yes. I was born in San Sonate. So, you weren't born in San Salvador? No, I came here in to thousand. Two thousand, um, good. Two thousand, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. Two thousand. You were pretty young, Alba. Yes, yes. I was only 23. Okay. Finish, teacher. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, uh, I mean, good job, good job. That was good. No observations right there. Correct pronunciation. No observations on this one. Very good, guys. Okay, guys, um, I need to take the attendance. So please, uh, when I call your name, please say present. Si ve que su compañero está o escribe en el chat, 
please let me know. Uh, we're going to start with Alba Luz. Present. Thank you, Alba. Today is the 12th. Increíble, guys. Estamos finalizando en, bueno, después de hoy, tres días. Ni sentí este módulo yo. Qué barbaridad. Dios me guarde con Dios me libre. Cómo se ha ido el tiempo de rápido. Alison. Escalante. Alison Escalante. Dijo presente. Dijo presente en el chat. Ahí está presente, Claudia Escalante. Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Eh, Andrea. Present teacher. Good. Carlos. Present teacher. Excellent. Claudia Constante. Present teacher. Very good. Claudia Escalante. Claudia. Eh, ya puso Claudia Escalante present, teacher, aquí en el chat de, de Zoom. Ok. Ah, ok. ¿Quién era? Y esta era Claudia Constante. Ok. Oops. Ok, so Claudia Constante absent. Claudia Escalante present. Okay. Teacher, eh, yo soy Claudia Constante. Oh, Claudia Constante. Ok, pues también está. All right, ah, pues están las dos Claudias. Ok, thank you. Eh, let me have Dalila. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela. Present teacher. All right. Diana. Diana. Eh, por ahí estaba Diana, o, o es la que ella le está fallando al internet, ¿verdad? Que puso en el chat. Ah, no, esa es Daniela. Ok, Diana. ¿Está aquí? Diana, Diana, Diana. Ok, absent. Is absent. Uh, tell me. Tell me. Absent. Okay. Elena. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Gabriela Ramirez. Is absent. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. Excellent. Hey, sir. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Jefferson. Present teacher. Excellent. Joanna. Present. Good job. Jose Montes. Jose. En el chat se lo dijo, teacher. Uh, Jose Montes. Sí, en el chat. Ok, Jose Montes. Thank you. Jose Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Ya vi el chat. Excellent. Let me have Ho okay, Jose Luis at present. Yeah, this one is absent. Uh, let me have Kevin. 
Kevin dijo que iba a tener problemas, teacher, ahí en el chat de WhatsApp. Creo ah, que sí, que está, ajá, dice, dice, hola, buenas noches, quería saber, hoy no podré estar en clase, Kevin Sánchez, ok. Sorry, Kevin. Uh, let me have Grisia. Grisia is absent. Uh, Laura. Present teacher. Very good, Laura. Miguel. Present teacher. Excellent, Miguel. Ovidio. Very good. Pamela. Melara. Pamela Melara. Absent. Okay. Patricia. Patricia. Absent. Le puso present teacher en el WhatsApp. En el chat. Okay. En el chat de Zoom. Eh, Patricia, ok, ya la vimos. Gracias. Gracias. Eh, let me have Sabrina. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Tamar. Present teacher. Excellent. Thelma. Present teacher. Very good. All right. Thank you, guys. Good work. All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Questions about this activity? Y si solo hizo dos oraciones, guys, no se sienta mal. Okay? Remember, este es un proceso. Ustedes están desarrollando una lengua. Right? Por eso se llama desarrollo lengual. Language development. Right? So, si solo hizo una oración, it doesn't matter. Porque así se empieza. La, la idea es que usted se quite el miedo y intente. Cuando yo digo volunteers, todos deberían de estar volunteering. ¿Por qué? Porque así es como se le va a quitar el fright. Saben que la primera vez que yo di una clase de inglés, yo nunca había dado una clase de inglés. Me habían capacitado, había tomado cursos. Era el número uno de la clase, pero nunca me había parado en frente de un grupo de alumnos. Y viene el supervisor de la academia y me dice, Mr. Santos, Mr. Santos, necesitamos que cubra una clase. Se enfermó un teacher y los alumnos ya están allí. Oh, my God. Mi corazón empezó así, like, tú, tú, ¿qué? Todo, pero no he terminado mis clases. Pero we need you right now. <ríe> tú lo puedes hacer. Tú lo puedes hacer. Mira, me sentía que hasta me temblaban las manos. Y adivina cuántos años tenían los alumnos. Eran niños de cinco y seis años de preescolar. Me dice, mire, agarra estos bombones. Hágase una dinámica, agarre vejigas. Y acuerde, usted es el teacher. Y yo, oh my God. I was like, I was so nervous. I swear to God, I was super nervous. 
¿no? Pero todo estaba aquí. Todo estaba en mi cabeza. Todo el miedo que yo tenía estaba acá. So, tú eres tu más grande reto. English is easy. Everybody listen and repeat. English is easy. English is easy. English is easy. English is easy. Pero tú lo tienes que creer aquí y acá. Right? Attitude. Attitude. And you got it. Fake it till you make it. Hay un dicho en inglés que dice, fake it till you make it. Que quiere decir, fíngelo y lo serás. Just do it, como dice Mike. ¿Tú crees que yo sabía lo que estaba haciendo? No. Yo dije, ¿quién quiere un dulce? Todos los niños. Ok. Everybody, listen and repeat. Ahí lo estuve una hora con un, con un alfa. Fue un éxito. Así que, you can do it. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher.